Hello everyone and welcome back to World Worship and to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. Um, today guys I'm thinking to share with you a very interesting gameplay and probably the reason also it's because very soon it will be Black Friday and some of you guys probably would like to purchase this ship, the Asashio. Probably the Asashio B will be called, I don't know quite, but it will, last year it was definitely available and it was a pretty damn good purchase. Uh, now, guys, to be able to do very well in this uh, ship, you actually need to have a little bit of luck. And we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain, AC120212. Now, there are none less than seven battleships on each side. I repeat, seven battleships in each side. What it basically means, guys, there's a lot of opportunity to do well. Because you have deep water torps, you cannot harm other destroyers, and you cannot even harm other cruisers, only battleships and aircraft carrier. Uh, now there, the good thing it's it's only uh, two destroyer and there's a uh, kid which is very um, dangerous. Also, gallant is also dangerous. So, uh, but both of them they have worse concealment. So you will be, you will outspot everyone. I do believe this one and Kagero has the best concealment in this game, 5.4 kilometers, which is absolutely. Uh, fantastic now keep that in mind guys I would like to say that this deep water torps has no less than 20 kilometers range ridiculous okay oh man USS kid this is you don't want to um, uh, gunfight actually kind of a um, scary I remember the kid does have heal and a lot a lot of firepower and I believe even though it, probably should open yeah he opened right now you would have pretty good um, alpha damage there's a definitely a cruiser who's engaged in this one but the thing is Charles Mattel he does not have any more uh, well the thing is that enemy kid wants to cap which is actually good however however I would like to say that the worst thing about this ship because it has this deep water torpedoes uh, you cannot harm, let's say, that smoke, you know, it's a US destroyer in that smoke, you cannot just send your torpedo. If this will be a regular destroyer, there will be a different story. So, yeah, he tried to, ca to cap, he tried to, but uh, nonetheless, it's kind of a bad for the team because the enemy, the friendly team, they lost Mayhem, and now this is the, the friendly team that only have this destroyer left. And enemies try, trying definitely to cap B and C and no one it's come close to A which is good for this uh, captain he's doing the right thing to go and trying to cap A. So far nothing crazy only 2100 damage that salvo he received some also in return remember guys that one downside with this ship he have extremely low HP only 17900 and you're not a speedy demon to should be out probably you are one of the slowest and the kid is right now charging at 6.1 6.0 5 5.9 which is bad guys he probably should use the speed boost or something uh, 5.7 but definitely someone is it's trying to engage that destroyer 6.1 yeah and that it's a really bad concealment for the kid. Probably does not have the concealment expert. At 6.1 he got um, spotted. Um, anyhow. Mm, it's pretty good that friendly Bismarck It's going middle of everything. I'm talking about the C. And he has pretty good backup at C. So even though the enemy have uh, surrounded Bismarck, he might actually going down. Okay, kid is 6.3. Yeah, I have no idea why he does not receive any help from the team. Now he will be spotted, yep. It's a good place to be in because he cannot be torpedoed. However, if the kid is smart, he can definitely charge this smoke 
and might actually uh, able to kill this destroy so this is not a risk-free move that's what I'm trying to say guys and remember the downside with this ship is you cannot harm any cruiser heavy cruiser light cruiser only battleships so they he kept uh, a which is good right right now and what do you know I do believe our Bismarck he went down he got surrounded by a lot of enemy ships and the destroyer however uh, even the destroyer I'm talking the gallant went down he was if you pay attention he was pushing towards C where the Bismarck was and probably someone killed him over there now ooh, this is bad guys he was auto detected Cleveland is nearby and he say help here around here very good salvo wow 4,000 close to 4,000 that's what I call a damn good salvo the reload are bad now but oh boy what a big hit mm. but I do honestly believe someone who's spotting me is the Cleveland yep and Leon finished the kid yeah the kid played kind of a poor over there guys he charged uh, when there is a Cleveland nearby and what do you know first torpedo hit and Colorado also but was the Leon uh, that uh, actually killed the uh, destroyer um, you know he kind of prey their price so uh, now actually it's 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 rough because if the enemy team uh, going and cap C the game might be already l uh, lo uh, lost uh, because guys the enemy control more than 200 points pay attention to the points pay attention uh, who's capping what uh, so now guys um, at this stage this uh, team has the only one destroyer left with 8600 HP pool left which is amazing because at this time nobody and I mean nobody can uh, spot this destroyer by a mile there's no aircraft carrier and there's no um, radar cruiser or anything no I honestly believe there isn't there are a lot of yum 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 juicy uh, slow fat targets like New Mexico full HB by the way and Nagato and uh, Monarch so once again guys this is very heavily favor for this ship when there are seven battleships in each side then you have a feast time and you will definitely gonna see soon what I'm talking about now the torpedo are not the greatest I'm not talking about they are the fastest um, but they have extremely and I mean extremely long range for this tier and probably this is the reason you, you like to purchase this uh, premium ship it's because you never know who gonna sell straight <laughs> and they do pretty uh, almost idiot proof uh, floods because they are deep water torps oh my god lord and did I mention I kind of forgot to mention that you have a torpedo uh, reload boost and a smoke this makes this uh, ship kind of uh, okay it was one good HE shells hit this target and now he did the right thing to try to put the smoke between him and the uh, enemy battleship and kite away he lost the rudder and uh, yeah pretty good damage the only problem is that you don't have any good reload but the damage are pretty nice nice pretty nice you can s definitely see where this captain's aiming and he is doing the right thing if he would stop in the smoke the uh, New Mexico would have uh, pushed into the smoke and charge in and delete this and uh, yeah one fire would be nice maybe he does have fire but I don't believe that this captain put the fire so you are absolutely ridiculous high uh, damage salvo and fire and now this Mexico 
he's using a cast by frustration. <laughs> well, what what do you do? You trying to in the smoke uh, charge a destroyer? Probably it's not the best ideas. You can leave that job to a cruiser, especially radar cruiser and so on, because then it's the other way around. You as a destroyer are in a huge pain and a huge problem but now i believe guys without saying too much that this enemy uh, battleship captain was um, playing a uh, very questionable decision about charging um destroyer with the smoke available um, yeah he probably thought that this captain would stain the smoke and he will just charge the smoke and blap the destroyer this never happened and by the way, why should this happen? Remember, the strength above this destroyer is definitely one of the best concealment in this game. Especially at this tier 5.4 concealment, it's absolutely ridiculous uh, low. And now they are pretty done two uh, battleships, which are, shall I say, pretty done healthy. Mm, yes, they are. They are one heck of a healthy um, destroyer. And he kept B once again because there was the battleship was uh, the New Mexico's kept this earlier. And of course, you do have kind of a blast with time, even though the once again the torpedo are nothing uh, crazy, but they do, you know, they do do pretty damn good damage when they hit. That hit was, uh, by the way, 15,000. The other one was 14,000. And there's no more Nagato. So, probably, yeah. So, you don't have to hit your enemy a lot of times. Um, um, especially at tier 7 and below. You have no uh, belt armor. You have no torpedo armor. Like, let's say, tier 10. Um, so, keep that in mind. Your damage a battleship is not that high if you are um, hitting a Yamato or a high tier tier 10 battleship versus let's say tier 7 or tier 8 so keep that in mind but the thing is and there's the specialty about this torpedo they almost always flood so five torpedo hits for four flooding it's it's definitely showing you how should I say he might he might re re reverse this monarch. The Atago, what is the torpedo torps over there? Did not hit. Yeah, now he has to decide. W it's a wild guess where could this monarch be in the next 30, 40 seconds or 30 seconds. It's at 6.0 kilometers. Mm, those torpedo will actually not hit. He misjudge so yeah that's the power now he he um, used the last uh, rain or should I say torpedo reload uh, booster because that's the strength about this ship it's that you have a torpedo reload boost very good protect uh, thinking about the second and last to torpedo salvo and there you have three torpedo hits two floods and this is the thing guys if you got hit by this torpedo uh, you will most likely uh, flood and not just one flood multiple of uh, flood we, uh, what i'm trying to say is that if you don't have damage cone they are hard hitting torps and you are gone once again, very questionable decision about the enemy battleship. So guys, nothing crazy, only 8 torpedo hits and um, 6 <laughs> floods. Yeah, yeah. And 134,000. And I would like to say that if, I'm just saying, if there isn't any a lot of a radar cruiser or aircraft carrier, you can definitely uh, do pretty good um, credits and at the same time and this is the fan factor i high i give this destroyer pretty high uh, fun factor it's because you have this 
amazing, uh, shall I say, troll torpedo with 20 kilometers range. And should I say pretty damn good guns? I mean, this captain can be blapped. Don't get me wrong, but Colora is so busy shooting someone else because let's face it, it's right now two versus five ships. So he has busy, 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 busy doing something else. But the percent to put your enemy on fire absolutely ridiculous high. Uh, and should I say one salvo? I was amazed that you can do close to four thousand damage if you aim to a light uh, armored uh, ship, like let's say. A cruiser or another destroyer so even though your reload or mech you know kind of a bad your speed are kind of a bad but the things makes this Japanese uh, line pretty fun you have this opportunity to spam the entire uh, sector of torpedo and if the enemy are close they might actually now he does have one smoke left very weird that so many um, uh, players they don't yeah it was a pretty good hit but it's all over pad you know what I mean he could probably use the um, smoke earlier And this uh, destroy this battleship captain. Yeah, he's asking for being deleted. High calibers also serve. So, so guys, thanks guys for watching, and always captains, fair seas, and goodbye.